Boom! What's up guys? This is Tom coming at you and what a better way to welcome you to the channel, get everything started out than um, getting a little spring cleaning going, getting back here. I'm getting my gym set up so we're going to go over all the pieces of what I got. Uh, I'm excited to bring you guys this channel, start putting some stuff out and uh, see what we can accomplish. Well, we're stuck here in coronavirus and working out at home. I'm going to do something that I've never done before and I want to bring you all the information to do things that you guys have never done before to start pushing your limits and to do new things. So this channel is going to be all about putting out new information, finding new ways to get creative with your fitness. I want to answer questions. I want to go over myths, um, all kinds of stuff that I have seen as a personal trainer uh, in my education and a master's degree in sports performance and a bunch of years between being in the military, playing sports and working out for well over a decade myself. Um, I'm going to bring you guys all that. So what we're breaking into today, we'll get into the gym, doing a little bit of spring cleaning here. So uh, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so mats have to dry. Uh, luckily, it's a beautiful sunny day. So even though there's coronavirus, um, I'm out here, there's sunshine and I wanna get out. I'm gonna go for a run, but uh, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some strength training in. Well, I'm chilling in the garage um, and the garage currently, I don't have my whole setup. So I'm making do with about a third of the usual equipment, if not more like a fifth, the usual equipment I have. So we're gonna look at, um, I got my sled, rogue sled, uh, plates. I got some 70 pound dumbbells, uh, my heavy sandbag, uh, I got a medicine ball, kettlebell, and uh, that's about it. Plus my ruck. This channel is gonna have rucking and cycling as well. Where'd it go? Right here, yep. So there's gonna be a lot going on, um, a lot of modalities. I'm trying to get fit. So I'm trying to feel good, I'm trying to perform well, definitely above all. Um, and to do all that, I'm gonna need to eat well, I'm gonna need to eat a lot uh, because I'm gonna be training hard and I'm gonna need some accountability buddies. So that's gonna be on you guys. Let's get going. I'm gonna start today. Full body is what I'm focusing on. We'll bring more, we'll talk about all these different pieces. Um, I'm gonna start with a bunch of things. I'm trying to get prepped for a run because cardio is gonna come second, I goes. But the very first thing is gonna be getting warm, getting activated. So I'm gonna show you guys how I normally warm up uh, and then we'll go from there and see what the workout looks like. All right, let's do it. All right guys, so my workout today uh, is gonna start with some Romanian deadlifts uh, that I'm gonna do with these 70 pound dumbbells that I have. Um, ideally, I would do them with a bar, but I only have one barbell right now. Um, and I'm gonna strict press with that because that's something I need to work on the most is uh, strict pressing with a bar in that front rack position. Um, and then I've got split squats afterwards. Well, I'm in my garage and it's pretty difficult to um, perform a split squat if you don't have something stable for your back foot on. So what I'm actually doing is using this, uh, my sea bag stacked on top of my sandbag, which is, sounds really stable, I know, to uh, be a rest for my foot. Because if this position is uncomfortable, um, it's just not possible to do. So that's what I'm gonna work with today. And uh, because I'm gonna run afterwards, I'm not gonna go super heavy. I also don't have a whole bunch of weight options, uh, but I'm just mostly trying to work to fatigue today. So I'm trying to work each muscle group uh, to fatigue under the loads that I have. Um, and I may even decide to split squat with the barbell on my back instead of using the dumbbells, which is what I normally do. Um, it loads a little bit differently, but we can all go into that more later in specific videos. If you have any questions about like each movement, how to perform them, how to modify them, definitely I'll get into some of that stuff as well. But um, that's what I'm gonna be working with for today. So I'm gonna do three to four sets of each group. I'm gonna try to fatigue resting as little as possible. Um, this normally helps me feel better before I go for a run. I like to have my body really primed. Um, doing the RDLs are gonna help my hamstrings be really set up and then I'll have a nice pull while I'm on the run. Um, 
and because California has closed all the state parks, all the trails, everything, I'm probably gonna have to go run around like the mall parking lot, which sucks, but it'll work out, I think. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna work with. Then I've got some accessory stuff and I may throw in some ab work at the end of this here to help make sure that my core is fired and that all the uh, snacks I ate over the weekend go away. So yeah, okay, we're gonna get into it. Okay, so I changed up what I'm doing with my RDLs with the dumbbells uh, so that I can get a better advantage towards my hamstrings, um, which might work them a little bit and mean that I don't have to do quite as many reps to get the desired effect because today I feel pretty good and going to fatigue means I'm getting well into the 20 rep range, um, which is quite a lot because that's gonna affect um, the tissue and my ability to uh, perform on my runs later. So what I wanna do is go a little bit heavier, um, do a little bit less reps, and I'm using this plate. I like to do deficits to get the same effect, but now I'm using a little bit of a deficit and this driveway is at an angle, so I get to use this to lean into that angle, um, which is gonna add more angle to the hamstring already. So it's kind of like a double whammy. I get extra out of both, um, and it's a little bit better space and uh, all these kinds of things. So that's it just goes to show there's a bunch of different ways to change around your workouts and always find ways to make things more effective or see if you don't feel an exercise, for example. Um, this is something I often like to do with people that are like, oh, I can't feel my hamstrings, I don't know what to do, what am I doing wrong? Something like this that really forces you to kind of push your butt back and feel the hamstring um, is an awesome way to do it. And then I just happen to be doing it to make way of space and help uh, make the exercise a little harder. All right, so great news, the backyard finally dried out. My mats are dry, so I can come back here. Um, now I have something better to use. I'm gonna use this chair for my split squats. Uh, I have rings, I'm gonna do some pull-ups and um, some cap raises, some accessory stuff here at the end. So it's great having a better space. I have actually places to put stuff and um, it'll be more functional. So I'm just...
uh, kick-ass workout. We're going to go for a run, but because it's coronavirus, you know that that means you can't go anywhere without washing your hands. Okay guys, so I'm down for the second part of my workout. I'm gonna do a run. Um, I'm at a local park, but as you saw in that intro, um, they're enforcing social distance. There are two police officers here, so I'm not gonna mess with anybody. And I'm also by myself. Um, but what I wanna do is try to map out uh, an out and back. So something I've really wanted to be working on is my mile time and repeatability. So I'm gonna do some mile intervals. So I'm gonna go try to drive something so I can actually measure it. Um, and out and back, so it'll be half a mile out and a half a mile back, um, and then I have accurate times or possibly a loop. This park does like a big circle, so I may see um, which one's better based on what I'm at. So let's go check it out. Okay, I found my out and back, so now even though I worked out already and I did a lot of um, like posterior and stuff, I'm here, I'm running. Um, it's been a couple of minutes, so now I'm just going to do another little uh, quick like dynamic warm-up, make sure that nothing happens. Um, I have a tendency to have calves cramp, uh, especially on hard efforts. Now, I'm going to be running at about 80% today, so I'm not trying to go max, um, but I'm trying to see what I can repeat. I'm going to do, I think, three, maybe four miles, so we'll see how it goes. It's a gorgeous day, and um, there's a lot of people out at the park, though, so I'm hoping that nothing gets in the way, but uh, it should be a good time. All right, so just finished three one-mile bouts. Uh, with an out and back and uh, that sucked got hard I think I went out too hard on my second one but I'm super happy to be out uh, as nice it is and just getting to sweat and um, avoid being inside with this whole COVID crisis so I think the coolest thing is um, my Apple watch so I, I have two trackers here and I'll put out a video on which tracker I think is better um, my Apple watch showed that my heart rate dropped about um, 40% in the three minutes after I finished, which is, which is good. So I'm happy with that. It means my aerobic fitness is generally where I want it to be. And, um, I was able to run a 656 average pace, I believe per mile, um, with an out and back. So remember there's a ton of variables, like there was slight sloping and stuff like that, but, um, it's not a track, it's not a straight mile, but I'm still pretty happy with that given that I worked out before and also I'm pretty low on calories today. So that's going to be next time to go home, uh, clean up, eat and, uh, relax. So get out there guys. Be safe. See ya.